Hey you, over here. Just kidding, I'm over here now. Ooh, too slow. Come on, grandmas are faster than you. <laughs> are you getting tired already? Uh, don't look all confused. I mean, you're the one that's not where they're supposed to be. Can't blame me for wanting to have a little fun with the trespassers. What do you think you're doing in my forest anyway? It's my forest, cause I said so. And I make the rules around here. Don't see anyone else around now, do you? No, that's cause this is my forest, and I'm the boss. Not like that ever stops humans from doing whatever the heck they want anyway. You go where you want, and do what you want. It's human nature to be dense as bricks. You don't even know greatness when you see it. I can be on your left. I can be on your right. I can be on both sides at the same time. I can be all around you. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Could any lame looking human do that? No, of course not. I can make myself look like a human, but why would I want to do that? I am already the most perfect, cute little tanuki. <laughs> but we still have a little problem here. You, being here, in my forest. I could ask you kindly to leave. That, my pretty eyelashes. It's not safe out here for humans. Of course, I would never hurt a fly, but other monsters? <laughs> well... You might not get so lucky. Here. Since I'm feeling oh so kind, just come over here, and I'll lead you out. And don't even think about turning down my offer. It's no trouble, really. Come on. It's not every day you meet a spirit out in the woods like this. How could you turn down such an opportunity? Oops, I guess I should have warned you about the traps, huh? But... Where's the fun in that? And I mean, if you had stayed out of my forest in the first place, you wouldn't even be in this predicament. So, is it really my fault? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Look at you. All tied up like an animal. <laughs> You think I'm just gonna let you out? You wish. What do you think I set all these traps for? Hunting squirrels? No. I'm so sick of stupid humans trampling around in my forest like they own the place. So I thought it was time I taught them a little lesson. Trespass in my forest and face the consequences. This tanuki girl is not someone to mess with, okay? I might be small, but I am far more powerful than you could imagine. Now, it wouldn't be very fun if I didn't get to admire my prize. I'm a tanuki of my word. I'll still take you out of the forest eventually. But before that, I want to get a closer look. I've never been able to get this close to a human before. Not that I'd really want to, since you're all the absolute worst, but I am just a little bit curious. Hmm, human ears are so small. How can you even hear anything with these? Maybe you'd have faster reflexes to avoid the trap if your ears weren't so useless. But I guess humans aren't used to being prey can't imagine these help much as predators either, though. Is there anything inside them? Huh. Weird. I don't think there's a single animal in the forest with ears like these, and I consider myself to be a bit of a forest expert. 
humans really are freaks of nature. My appearance is only semi-human out of convenience. Most animals are afraid of humans, and so they'll listen to what I say. But this isn't about me. No matter how I look, I'm still nothing like you. You're all so dumb. Every time humans come into my forest, they make a mess and have no regard for the fact that this is my home. They get to leave, but I still have to live here. They build stinky campfires that scare away the animals. They leave their trash everywhere, which creates such a mess. They cut up my trees, and they're really, really loud. I hate them. And that is exactly why I had to catch one for myself. The plan was simple. Make some traps and hide them in the leaves, so that when inevitably another human showed up, because they always show up eventually, I could lure them in with tricks or games and then BAM! Here you are! No one would ever suspect such a plan from such a cute, innocent face. And it's not like I'm even gonna torture you or anything like that. All I want is to show that I'm on top in this forest, not you guys. You'll get to see what it's like to be treated like an animal. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with you. But enough of this. I'm bored. So you are going to entertain me. Sit still. <laughs> not like you really have a choice. I'm just gonna get a little closer. You're honestly quite the lucky human. No one ever gets so close to me that they're able to touch my tail. Isn't it so soft? So fluffy? People can't help but want to touch it. They see me and they think of me as some adorable pet that they can gawk at and touch as they please, but no! What do you think I am? I may have fluffy ears and a tail, but Tanuki are not some stray animals. And don't even think about calling me a raccoon. I am not a raccoon. I don't eat trash, and frankly, I think I'm much smarter than that. It's insulting. I'm a spirit. Honestly, I'm basically a god. You all should be worshipping me. Praising me. Kissing the bottom of my shoes and revering the ground I walk on. If you had any brain in that skull of yours, you would be begging for me to show you some kind of mercy. I mean, it's not so fun being all tied up, huh? Being at the hands of a spiteful tanuki. I could do anything to you that I wanted, and you couldn't do anything about it. That's what it's like to be a creature of this forest. Even though this is my home, I always have to try my best to hide because of humans like you. But now that I've finally caught one, it gives me the opportunity to give you a piece of my mind. I've thought about this for a long time. The things I would do when I finally had a human under my claws. I could transform into a bear, show you its fangs, and make you fear the forest. I could become a mosquito and cover you in bites so that you're itching for days. Or maybe even a hundred birds until the chirping drives you insane. Then you'll beg. You'll grovel. And once you've finally learned your place, you could be freed. Hmm. All I'd have to do is slice this rope with my claws, but I don't like when my games end too quickly. I think the suspense of what I'm going to do is worse than anything I could actually do to you. And I like to leave people on their toes. There used to be more monsters in the forest before the humans started showing up. It was so much fun. I'd always be in charge of the games, playing tricks and pranks on the others. We'd be out until dark, seeing who could outsmart the others with their powers, and I almost always won. 
though when I lost it was definitely on purpose. Can't always be the winner. That's no fun. But it's hard to outsmart a spirit that specializes in trickery. <laughs> but when the humans started showing up, it became harder for the monsters to show themselves. So eventually they started leaving. Until I was the only one left. And that's why I hate humans. What were you even doing out here anyway? I mean, I guess you don't really look like those stupid humans that come hunting or camping and ruin my forest. <laughs> I guess I never stopped to ask. I just got so excited at the thought that I'd finally get to use my traps that I didn't even think about if you deserved it or not. But, I mean, you're human, so of course you deserve it. But, if you meant no harm, ugh. Well, now this isn't fun. If you really were just minding your business, that would make me the bad guy. And it's not like you've really done anything wrong since I caught you either. You haven't yelled at me or tried to tear yourself free or anything. I wanted to catch a real stinky human, mess with them so that they'd learn their lesson to never step foot in my forest again. It's not like I really hate humans anyway. At least, not all of them. Only the annoying ones. If anything, sometimes I think it'd be nice to have a little forest friend again. The animals are great and everything, but they can't understand me in the way that humans or other spirits do. So, it's not that I like humans, I just don't have any other options. Like I said before, look around. There's no one but me anymore. Which is great sometimes, cause I get to make all the rules, but what's the fun in being the boss if there's no one to boss around? It'd be nice to have someone to play games with again. I mean, is it so bad to maybe you want a friend? Th no, I didn't do all this just to make friends. I'm not stupid. Nets aren't really the greatest icebreaker in the world now, are they? I really did want to play some nasty tricks, but it's not fun anymore. Not when you're being all nice about it. Ugh. Even when you're not being annoying, you're being annoying. So, I guess I have no choice but to free you. I was gonna eventually anyway. I'm not cruel. There. And you better not make me regret it. I could have easily tormented you for hours if I didn't have a sudden change of heart. Really. You should be grateful for my sudden mercy. And if you promise to be normal, maybe you don't have to leave the forest, even if I really want you to. But if you do leave, you can come back whenever you want, and I won't play any more tricks as long as you promise to not be like those stupid humans. Could be nice to have a friend even if you are my last choice. Of course, I'd still be in charge, so you'd have to do everything I want. But we could play lots and lots of games. My favorite's hide and seek, but it's not really fun when there's no one to come find you. Even when there were other monsters in the forest, they hated when I shapeshifted. Called it cheating. Well, I think they were just a bunch of sore losers, but whatever. You're still a stinky human, but I'm willing to give you a chance, if only for the fact that there's no one else. Mess it up, though, and you'll regret having ever stepped into my forest. Now, go away. I need to set up my trap again for when a real gross human comes by. Just because I let you go doesn't mean I don't still want revenge. 
though, now that I think about it, you are a human. Maybe. Maybe you could convince the others to leave me alone. If you really wanted to win me over, that would be how to do it. Hm. It could work. Maybe the other monsters would even come back home. Well, don't just stand there gawking. You have a big job to do, so you better get to work. We can play games another time. If you want. And, if you're successful, maybe I'll even introduce you to my friends. But, for now, scram, will ya?